I just want to speak about the leader of the Aryan Brotherhood. His name is Barry Mills. If you don't know, the Aryan Brotherhood is a notorious prison gang, white supremacist prison gang. And Barry Mills is considered to be a founding member of that particular group, and he's a legendary member. He's, he's passed away now, but in his time, he was an upper echelon, de facto leader of the Aryan Brotherhood. His legacy lives on today, and it's so strong and mythical that the current leader of the Aryan Brotherhood claims to be the son of Barry Mills. In reality, he's not his son, he's just his protege. But the myth of him being his son goes to show you the importance of this man in the Aryan Brotherhood circle. All right, now what I want to talk about is a murder that Barry Mills, leader of the Aryan Brotherhood, was fighting in 1979. And he actually snitched according to the rules of Aryan Brotherhood uh, ethics. On, on May 20th, 1979, John Sher Sherman Martzoff was killed in the men's room of the recreation shack at the United States Penitentiary in Atlanta, Georgia. His death was caused by 16 stab wounds in the head, back, shoulder, and upper arm area. The murder weapon was tossed into the commode, and a second similar knife, unused in the killing, was tucked up under the arm of the victim. The details of the murder were reported incorrectly in an Atlanta newspaper. Although numerous witnesses testified to having seen Mills in a recreation shack area at the time of the killing, the only eyewitness was Danny Holliday. Holliday, the prosecution's key witness, testified that he had accompanied Bar Barry Mills to the recreation shack armed with the second knife, knife that was unused for the purpose of robbing Martzoff, not killing Martzoff. He was surprised by the fact that Barry Mills killed him, and he took no part in it. He actually thought that they were going to rob him. Barry Mills killed him. Okay, Barry Mills maintained that he was innocent and that the Aryan Brotherhood had ceased to be an active organization and that the murder had actually been committed by Robert Lee Hogan, another inmate. Okay, so why is Mills maintaining that he was innocent, saying that the Aryan Brotherhood had ceased to be an active organization, and that the murder was actually committed by Robert Lee Hogan? I mean, according to the ethics of prison gangs, this is considered snitching. United States of America versus Barry Mills, and this is the uh, case information for every, anybody who wants to look it up. And um, the only reason why I'm paying attention to this detail is because Barry, Barry Mills is considered to be a legend of the gang world in prison. You know, he's considered to be the epitome of what a perfect prison gang member is. And the Aryan Brotherhood has a very, very broad sweeping definition of snitching. They'll kill you just for simply talking about the Aryan Brotherhood. If you're um, associated with the Aryan Brotherhood and you're simply mentioning any detail about it, like saying... Hey, such and such is a member of the Aryan Brotherhood. They'll kill you for that because they consider that to be snitching. So why is it that the leader of the Aryan Brotherhood is allowed to implicate somebody else in a murder by name and nobody talks about it?